Welcome everybody. In the previous class, we talked about present subjunctive mood. Before going to the past subjunctive form, I think I should tell you one very important thing about the present subjunctive form. First to tell you that the present subjunctive form is frequently replaced by an alternative in Great Britain. As British English is followed in our subcontinent, so I think I should tell you this. Just look at the board, what happens? The doctor, the doctor recommends that he give up smoking. That means the doctor recommends that he should abstain from smoking. So this sentence can be rewritten in British English by using a model. The doctor recommends that just look at this portion that he should give up give up smoking now both the sentences have the same meaning and now let's go to the past subject first to tell you that past subjunctive forms are mainly used in hypothetical or imaginary situations. If I give you some example, then you will understand. If I were a bird, if I were a bird, Was is incorrect here. If I were a bird, I would enjoy a borderless world. Yes. Past certainty always indicates an imaginary or a hypothetical situation. Actually, I am not going to be a bird. How can I be a bird? I don't have wings. I don't have tail. I can't fly. So, I just imagine. So, such an imaginary or a hypothetical situation is fitted for the past subjunctives. Then, once again, I give you another example. <coughs> Real situation. That's all about the past subjunctive. 
If you have any queries, any doubts, you may contact me uh, to my number.